that kind of makes the cement look cracked around it, which is a neat effect. And uh, once again, parent it to the null object so that all stays together. Now the hole and the cracks we obviously have to kind of fade in. So explodes and the cracks we want to fade in. And now there's better techniques of doing this than fading to make it look a little more realistic. But for now, with the time that I have, we're just going to add a quick opacity. So that's looking all right. The cracks and the hole needs to be the same way. So we could actually copy these keyframes and paste it to here. And line that up. Boom. And another thing I did was put the smoke on top of the cement because we don't want the cement there in front of it. So that looks a little better. And maybe change that mask a little bit, bring it down. Alright. So here we go. Already the effect is looking pretty good. Um, looking pretty believable. Another thing you could do for more detail would be add a dust wave um, here. And this kind of helps sell the effect. Putting a blast of dust around there. So line that up, parent it to the null object. And then again, it has a sharp edge. So draw a quick mask. Hit M, change it to subtract, hit F, and feather that out so that it blends in nicely. So there, a dust wave kind of shoots out. Now that's looking a little too harsh, so we can change the opacity to maybe 50 or so. And then again, this edge here is also cut off, so I'll add a couple more points and feather that as well. There we go. So now we've got a dust shock wave coming out. Alright, so this is looking pretty good, but one thing we want to add is a glow right when the fire is bright here. So we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then bring out glow, and then also a curves, if I could spell. There you are. And then um, add a mask kind of around the explosion area here. Alright, so glow. Um, kind of play with this. Try to get it maybe a little more radius. There's about good. We don't want it overpowering, but that's about good. And then we have to feather this mask as well, so there's not a sharp edge. And then curves. Just brighten it up a little bit. And that contrast. There we are. And then we want to fade this adjustment layer in. So right about here, which should be at 100% right around here. And then we'll fade that in from 0 and fade that back out to 0 again. So that kind of just makes it really powerful. And then another thing we could do if we wanted to be detailed is link that to the null object as well so it stays around the explosion. Alright, um, that's basically it. One last thing I did was layer new adjustment layer and then I added a um, video copilot preset from Magic Pro um, enhance warm just to do that and then maybe a letterbox anamorphic and a vignette these are all just finishing touches but anyway um so there you go we've got a nice exploding manhole in san francisco hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please comment rate and subscribe we always love that um so yeah go out and make an awesome explosion